Honey, what are you doing? Whoa, Captain Phasma. Well, you're gonna say yes. Darth Vader. Kylo Ren. Okay. Sweetie. Uh -huh. Okay, two things. Number one, you're looking at Epcot. Hollywood Studios is behind you like two miles. Secondly, we're supposed to be looking for the best pavilion at Epcot. Right. Isn't that over here? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, a jail eel, did you have it behind her? We really should at this point. Hi. So, we just got the ringlet. You, the UK. Sorry. And but mostly. So let's do some judging. Let's be judging. It's a British thing we should be judging. I, I would have liked to have tasted their sponge, but... We didn't taste anything. I think they have sponge cake. I would have liked to have tasted it. Well, you didn't say that while we were there and now we're past it. Snooze you lose. Okay. Anyway, hi. Um, Alright, so food in Great Britain. You're options are there are some snacks in the tea shop mm -hmm. there is the fish and chips stand mm -hmm. which is kind of counter servicey and there's the rosen crown which has a bar uh, or pub i should say and they also have food so you have a lot of options i think the rain is about to come across this water and get us it looks hazy out there i'm a little scared all right judge quickly okay hi sorry okay <laughs> Um, so food. Uh, that's not the number I picked. That's not right there. Alright, food in the UK. Wow. We saw this comment for British food. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Holy cow. Damn you fish and chips. Yeah, the, the fish and chips smelled really good. I really wanted to stop it. I wanted to eat some of the other festival stuff. It's kind of doing it. Okay, food. Entertainment. Entertainment, you've got the British Invasion Band, you've got the, um, what else do you have? Oh, I think sometimes there's an Irish, not an Irish. Well, like a, yeah, it's like an Irish. Like a, like a pub band that plays. Like and folk. I think there's a piano player in the bar, too. Yeah. It's like a little folk group that wanders yes. the, like the screen. Yes. So, um, yeah. You ready? Ding. If it was just the British Invasion, I'd have given them more. Mm. But I'm not a fan of Irish folk music, so you lost, you lost me. Um, well, I'd rated it only a four because you can't really... There's not a lot of seating by the British Invasion, so if you get seating, great. But that's, that's my knock. They really lost numbers on me when they got rid of the World Showcase Theater. Yeah, that that was my favorite thing in Epcot when I was growing up. Yes. All right. Attractions. They don't have any, but we don't have a zero. What do you mean? They got characters. Oh God, I forgot about <laughs> Mary Poppins and Alice in Wonderland. They don't have any attractions. All right, so yes, you can meet Alice in Wonderland and Mary Poppins. I've seen Winnie the Pooh, but not in a long time. Tigger, yeah. Tigger and Winnie the Pooh used to be in the back of the yeah, I don't know if they're toy shop. I don't know if they're doing it or not. So, okay. Boing. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like Mary Poppins. I have nothing against Julie Andrews. I don't like Mary Poppins. I'll tell you that story when it's not raining. Okay. Um, shopping! Shopping in the UK. Alright, I'm ready. When you are. I'm trying to be ready. You be ready. Got it. Okay. Yes. That's right. We bought so much tea at that tea shop, we had to give 
The crown would tax it if they knew. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Okay, and finally, theming. We looked at a lot of the buildings. We looked at a lot of the stuff in the stores. Uh, okay, ready? Yep. Way to go, UK! Yep. Awesome. Yeah, they really poured a lot into there. They did. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to go over <laughs> All right, it's raining. Not elaborating in the rain. So we just finished reviewing Japan. We did. So let's begin at the beginning. Food. Food in Japan. All There's right. There's lots of it. There's a lot of different choices. There is. There are two sit-down restaurants, Tokyo Dining and Tepanito. Tepanito is uh, hibachi. And Tokyo Dining, you can order the same food. You just don't make it in front of you. There's a lot of sushi. There's a lot of... Um, what do you call it? Teriyaki kind of stuff. Tempura. Yes. And then there is, um, I want to say Kyoto. That could probably be a completely made up Japanese word I came up with. Uh, there's a counter service place mm. up on the hill. Uh, again, you can do something teriyaki, something sushi, something teriyaki. Uh, I need a um, tempura. tempura, thank you. Or edamame and all that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is a stand up front where you can do sake and kakagori, and a kakagori is a kind of Italian ice. Not Italian ice, shaved ice, but it's got a different texture to it. They're very good. I definitely recommend them. Then what else is there? There were, we passed a couple of yeah, stands. Yeah, kiosks, couple like towards kiosks. the back of the pavilion. And, yeah, there's just food left and right. Okay, so food in Japan. Ready? Yep. I really like the Tepanito and Tokyo Dining and Kakagori's. Yeah, just part of it, I think it's problem with Japanese food is it's really hit and miss I think sometimes like when I'm when it hits it hits and when it's a miss it's a miss okay. so I can't give it that a full was five deep. yeah I can't give it a full five myself but you know that's like my own problem all right so entertainment which happens to be going on yes. I thought they made it something they were done but yeah okay so entertainment you've got um, the drummers which you can hear. And you get occasional seasonal entertainment, but like yeah. the uh, kind of holiday around the world thing and all that. But, but by and large, the drummers is it for the entertainment. Now they used to have a candy maker who would make uh, art artistic creations out of candy, but she's been gone for a while, I believe. I don't believe she's here anymore. But that was very cool to see. Christmas card from Rhonda is my <laughs> understanding. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate to say because this is one of those like I want to like it things, but to me the drummer is just great. As in G R A T E, my nerves. Um, it's to me it's very samey, and if we go to that Africa outpost thing, a lot of people will be making this kind of racket for free, frankly. <laughs> this is free. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but like all day and every day. 
Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I just, it's not my thing. I, I hate to say it. All right, so attractions. Attractions. Um, I would say the rotating exhibit museum. Yeah, the gallery in the back. There's a gallery in the back next to one of the stores. That right now they're doing uh, Kauai. Is that? I don't have right. no idea how to Kauai, say. Kauai, right? Okay, and it is. It's Japanese cute. You know, cute culture. Hello Kitty would be the biggest example. Know, bows in your hair, knee-high socks looking like Britney Spears, um, what else? Cell phone beds. Yeah, um, sushi that looks like little panda bears, anything the Japanese can make cute, they make cute, uh, including apparently construction barriers, which we just learned. So I thought that was kind of an interesting side of the culture, yeah. you know, people that seem I, I would say seem very serious have this interesting other side. Yeah. Eh, you never know. Okay, so I think that's it in terms of attractions here in Japan. Yeah, there's like kind of like Kid Cod or whatever, where it's when you yes. come around the gift shop out the back, there tends to be a little table. Yeah, there's the, but every every country has a Kid Cod location. You just don't always see it because you're not looking for it. Um, before it was cute, that section was, I think it was tin toys at one point, another time it was Japanese baseball, which was very interesting. Yeah, it was, um, uh, they changed it out. What the fox represents in their culture was another one. It was like the one that was before the cute display. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, they do different, and it's kind of a nice little insight into, into a different culture. So you ready to rate the cute? Yep. Okay. We don't think so cute. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's interesting, but it, it's for such a massive pavilion. It's uh, that's very thin on attractions, is all I can say, and it, it it lives and dies by what that attraction is, as far as that category. Goes. Okay. All right. All right. Shopping. Mitsusaki. Mitsusaki. Mitsusiku. Mitsu. Mitsusaki. <laughs> Mitsubishi. What's it called? I don't know. I, I, I mis- can't see the sign. I took here. a picture. I took a video. Mm-hmm. Just put it in the video. Yep. However it's pronounced. Yep. Uh, is a department store in Japan, mm-hmm. apparently, is what I've been told. And that's who does the store here. You can get everything from um, shrimp chips uh, to sake cups to artwork to Hello Kitty pillows. All kinds of toys. And anything anime or Japanese in between. Well, almost. Uh, Pretty, much anything. <laughs> Pretty much anything. Pretty much anything. It's a very large store. And when you think you've hit the back, you make a left-hand turn and you keep going. Uh, outside then, once you exit the store, there are a couple of kiosks with more merchandise. Um, a lot of stuff that you can see in the store. Uh, but I saw some toe socks when we came outside, some fans. Um, they still sell some of the chips and, and, and you know, like, what's it called, pokey? The pocky. Pocky. Yeah. Pocky. They have pocky here. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I think that's all the shops, but it's huge. Yeah, it's massive. You, you, can, you can pick a pearl. Yeah. Yeah, they have an oyster shucking station in there for pizza yeah. snakes. All right, you ready? Yep. Okay. I'm giving it to them on they've hit every possible Japanese thing you'd ever want. And I bought stuff here. I mean, that's a big thing. Also that. Yeah, I've actually, on many occasions, have bought something in the, in the Japanese store. Okay, right. theming. Yep. Um, we have a pagoda. You can't see it. It's be, kind of behind us. There's mm-hmm. a koi pond. There's a bunch of Japanese gardens. Mm-hmm. Um, what I did not realize is the building in the back that houses the museum and part of the store is actually a castle. There is a, a moat. I never paid any attention to the fact that I was actually in a castle. So that was kind of cool to discover. I love, I love that after, I don't know, living here a year and... Showing, coming here 45 times before that, 
that I can still find something that's been there the whole time that I never noticed. Or even the spot we're sitting in right now, it's uh, this little cutaway like off to the side of the pagoda and it's right now it is it's a pretty crowded weekend but uh, but there's times you can just kind of come up here and just kind of more or less have it to yourself and it's it's a nice getaway I really like yeah. it. Yes. Okay, theming. Theming. Big time. Way to go Japan. And the, and the winner, winner is... is... England! I just called it. Yes. So that wraps up another edition of Showcase Survivor. And you know, I think we've got time. Time to what? Oh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I am thinking what you're thinking. to our living laboratory, where what scientists we from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring. Three times you will deny it. If any of you dudes want tea, just say chai. So there's a crowd up the hill here, and you can go, something's going on. This is Mary Poppins standing in the same spot she always stands, and I'm going to have a fit. I mean, those toys when I was a kid. 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make... How about this? No!